So same loan syndication will call it as a bank debt as well. Bank debt. Bank debt. Right. So now if we talk about loan syndication, see guys, loans it means advances. So when we say loan it means, hold on, something happened with my board. So when we say loan, it means we are talking about advances or again loan and syndication, it means body, body or union, body or union. If let's say if body or union arrange money. arrange fund to provide advances or loans basically to anyone to anyone or any or organization or business so that loan will call it as a basically loan syndication right that will call it as a this agreement will call it as a loan syndication you know agreement so how this works, let's take example, let's say Wipro is looking for 10,000 rupees loan. Let's say they approach to the HDFC first, HDFC denied to process 10,000, but HDFC has other union members. So as I said, union or members like uh, Axis, your ICICI or uh, let's say JP Morgan who are willing to invest. Let's say HDFC has capacity to invest, uh, sorry, 2000 and rest players, they are ready to invest 2000, let's say 3000 or again 3000, all right. So this is what the other partners, they have, uh, let's say uh, shown interest to invest in this particular deal so basically hdfc will sign in a uh, agreement with axis icac gp to uh, you know contribute funding to this particular deal so this amount will call it as a deal and loan syndication but if you see all that union members come together arrange funding and now they have transferred that funds to the wipro management to manage the business operations. So this funding process will call it as a loan syndication. So as I said, loan it uh, loans uh, syndication loan it means normal advance amount or let's say facility credit facility or credit you can say, right? But the same credit if the uh, you know more than one let's say uh, members come together and if they offer funding. To any business so that becomes your loan syndication that becomes your loan syndication or bank debt all right so let me just see ppt on ppt how it looks like see how it looks like on So let's say if any company has requirements, then lender, they will come together, right? And they'll syndicate loan. So it means they'll fulfill the requirement of a company. And in traditional approach, it means this, this one is a modern approach, guys. Modern approach, it means as per the uh, modern way that you can means uh, two or three people, you can come together and you can then disburse funding. So through this process, you can also see there are two things are very important. One, if you have 10,000 and let's say if you invest that 10,000 in a project, here you might see big risk, big risk of default, big risk of not, let's say, uh, you know, sec uh, your investment is not secure, right? In terms of security, in terms of bankruptcy, you might face a lot of issues. So that becomes actually your 
that becomes actually a risk but what if if i see if you can diversify you know 2000 2000 2000 or maybe a ratio can be it can be anything right sorry my bad 2000 2000 and 2000 so if you invest in different projects a b c d project and e project even if you see let's say this project let's say goes on default you have still other projects where you can you know uh, secured your investments so basically through this you know modern approach the businesses private equity funds hedge funds private credit funds they are able to uh, basically diversify their risk through this product which is loan syndicated product all right but in a traditional approach we had a you know arrangement where only one counterpart let's say in this process only hdfc will arrange entire amount but here you might see it along with hdfc they can invite other players as well so to arrange money and then they all together means all you know players come together and they arrange money and provide funding to the project so this is how basically your loan syndication works so let's see other if i have same example so more than one means uh, you know lender so lender will come together and invest or provide funding to the different different projects all right so basically they you know it's like a mutual fund guys in mutual fund what happened so investors contribute money to the pool and then fund manager invest that money in different financial instrument so it's a reverse strategy you know uh, the banks it means here financial in, instead of you know retail investors here the big investment uh, that uh, the investment firms or uh, companies insurance companies pension funds they'll all you know come together and they'll provide funding to the business they'll all come together and they'll offer funding to the business all right so this is how actually means that loan syndication pool works and if we talk about company or let's say uh, you know here in this in the loan market so that main you know there would be main uh, agent or you can say you know the prime uh, prime player where that prime player will arrange everything so that player you can call it as a loan arranger or book runner as well book runner it means in in case of this example it's a previous example hdfc would be your uh, book runner who will maintain the book axis bank and all other players they will also maintain their books all right but hdfc bank will maintain everything in their books total you know interest payments total funding then contribution of other partners or members so for other players also hdfc because as arranger bank so they maintain everything all right so this is how basically a loan syndication works but the two things which are very important here from a you know understanding perspective in the world we have you know two different markets one is lsta market and another one is lma market so this loan mortgage association market which is which is your uh, you know uk's market and loan syndication trading association market which is lst market it's a us market so basically loan that you can list on this market or either this market so both the markets provide you know a secondary market as a platform where you can list your loans and then your loans will trade in the market so key difference if you ask me what are the key differences between both uk markets they have their you know different trade life cycle which is t plus 10 so if you if you purchase anything then trade will settle on t plus 10 day basis so it will take 10 days to sign documents arrange funding and everything and then that loan account it will settle in the market so if we talk about lst market lst market they have t plus 5 process so it means if you buy anything today then it will take at least five days to settle the either particular loan in the your account so here in this market you can actually buy the loans and sell the loans buy the loans it means if you buy any loans <coughs> right then you are actually your money will out so you are you are giving money to someone else 
so you will receive interest payment if you are selling loans if you sell loans then what happened so you have already purchased the loans if you sell it out then cash will come in your business so basically cash will come in it means already you had purchased the loan now you want to sell it out in market so you can sell sell it out loans in the market this exactly works like a bonds exactly works like a bonds but only the difference is here you will have to sign different documents right documents list of documents that would involve in this process one is trade confirmation trade confirmation note down all these documents trade confirmation document then second one is facility agreement which is assignment agreement that we'll call it as then pricing letter if you see any third party which is involved then you might see other documents like uh, you know third party agreement also right so facility agreement or pricing you know later third party and then finally you may see which is final confirmation or funding confirmation final funding confirmation later all right so these are the documents which we signed in this market but in case of bonds you don't need to sign any documents you can digitally buy you know uh, bonds right and you can credit it uh, means they'll credit it in your accounts so bonds will get credited in your accounts if you buy bonds in the market even if you purchase any physical bonds you will get certificates correct but through this process you will have to sign multiple documents it's like a personal loan guys personal loan and this loan has no difference only the difference is personal loan your one bank will process that personal loans to you right but same personal loan let's say if more than one institution provide funding to you for example if you understand this again in a more detailed manner then uh, let's talk about some personal things so that you can relate let's say you have decided to uh, apply for a personal loan you have you required 15 lakhs and you are ready to pay 15% interest payment let's say you have approach to the bank which is hdfc bank hdfc bank only is you know ready with 5 lakhs then hdfc ensured you look they have other players which is idfc then uh, axis and icici who are interested to offer in a funds to you so this bank is ready with 3 lakhs this one is ready with 2 lakhs and this institution is ready with 5 lakhs so anyways you will receive total their contribution plus mine which is 15 lakhs at 15% interest rate so it will receive this amount so we'll arrange basically this bank will arrange this amount all right because hdfc will work as a main arranger 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 bank so they'll arrange that amount hdfc will arrange and they charge their fees as well along with the interest payment bank will charge arrangement fees also or placement fees or arrangement fees and all and then finally that funding will transfer to the this person mr a let's say this is your personal loan again for you it's a personal loan but this entire process will call it as a loan syndication right so this entire process will call it as a loan syndication why because here in this personal loan transaction you can see hdfc access icici and you know the participants they come together 
and they contributed funding around 15 lakhs to the Mr. A and Mr. A has received cash now and then Mr. A will settle the interest payment which is whatever in a percentage would be so interest payment it will be settled in the account of HDFC only and then HDFC will you know distribute that interest payment to the IDFC access and ICICI bank for participants so basically HDFC will take a lead and arrange everything correct so they will arrange everything means everything so this is how if you replicate uh, replicate the same example in corporate if you replicate this then corporate you know institution also works in the same you know manner let's say instead of this if i say elon musk is looking for a funding for project a project a if elon musk is looking for a project a then Elon Musk can approach to the let's say HDFC bank and then HDFC bank will raise funding from the other partners as a syndicate and they'll transfer that amount to the Elon Musk and then HDFC, will, uh, HDFC bank will work as a lead arranger and they'll take care of everything their ownership documents other you know financing documents funding later everything means everything correct All right. Any any question around this, guys? Come on. Any question? I have explained both the processes: loan syndication at personal level, and in you know, a same, uh, you know, uh, the loan syndication process at organization level. All right. So now let's talk about let's talk about different types of loans so in loan syndication process you would see different types of loans we have discussed different types of bonds correct so same way you would see here types of loans so types of loans that we have which is so one type is normal term loan term loan so here you would see different types short term term loan medium term term loan and long term term loan long term term loan For example, if you ask me, sir, what type of loans that we can treat as a term loan? Personal loan that comes under your term loan. Normal business loan that comes under your term loan. Because that comes with different terms. So short term, it means minimum, you know, you can uh, purchase loans for one year. Here, medium term, it means one to five years. And five to ten or more than that, maximum duration of term loan would be 30 years. But average duration that we have seen 5 to 10 years, minimum duration that we have seen which is 1 year. So within that 1 year, facility will be repaid. So it's a facility, it means bank will you know, issue facility to you, bank will approve that facility or loan facility to you. Let's say you have applied for a loan and you got a credit of uh, let's say 1 CR, alright, period will be given let's say 1 year. So within a one year, if you access that facility, it's like a you know credit uh, you know credit credit card, right? In a credit card, what happened when you apply for a credit card, you will get a you know credit facility. If you want to utilize, you can swipe it. If you don't want to utilize, that's fine. But credit facility is approved. So most of the institutions they secured you know credit facilities. If if they if let's say if they have forecasted they'll face some you know problems in terms of liquidity in coming time then they can initially only they calculate their budgets apply for a credit facility basically your corporate credit card and ask bank to arrange that facility to you and bank will ensure that they'll process funding so basically private equity funds or hedge funds they offer such a you know, facility to the corporates and institutions so that you can take a credit from them 
right even banks also offers it but bank most of the time you know they don't uh, take much risk and that's when you know private equity funds come into picture so they'll offer facility to you they'll make a provision of funds you can give a call to them and they'll process funding to you so that becomes your term loan right so now if i talk about other loan which is revolver credit revolver credit see revolver it means you can say it's a roll over basically let's understand this revolver credit revolver credit let's say duration of the facility is if i have uh, means actual original facility oops hold on yeah so original facility that you have received for 5 years let's say total amount is 10 lakhs right and interest rate is let's say 10% whenever you will utilize it bank will charge 10% let's say first year you have access that credit facility and you have withdrawn so basically let's say this is your here you have withdrawn it amount is 10 lakh and at the end of the year you have paid it back along with interest payment let's say 10% is interest payment so 10 lakh you can you know you can pay interest payment so paid repaid it again you can access it maybe another year right here maybe you can access full or partial it is depends on you let's say you have decided to only access 15 lakhs 15 lakhs would be outstanding balance you can withdraw it and again you can repay it correct 50 lakhs plus interest payment so see if you continuously do this so that becomes your revolver credit revolver it means roll over so every time in a credit card what happen guys with the credit card we get the credit limit for 5 years or 10 years during that period we can continuously access the credit card limit correct access it and repay it until your credit card expire am i right so same pattern you know this revolver credit facility will call it as a credit card of corporate companies this revolver credit facility will call it as a credit card of corporate companies credit card so here continuously we basically process it out all right continuously will process it out so this amount so don't forget this amount will call it as a facility amount or total commitment amount and if if someone withdraw this amount in banking language or bank debt language this should be your uh, this should be your drawn draw down basically draw down amount so every time you can draw down from the in a main commitment facility all right you can access that amount and you can even repay it so repay process will call it as a pay down you can pay down that amount access the amount utilize for your purposes whatever that you have and repay it 
along with the interest payment. If the interest payment is 10%, then you can pay interest payment 10% annually it means every year you can pay interest payment along with that. So this is how basically revolver credit facility work. So it's a pure, you know, it's a pure, your means credit card. You can relate with credit card. What happened with credit card? Bank approves limit to you. You carry that credit. If you need, you can spend. You can spend money maybe on your daily needs, uh, investment purposes or so and so forth. So same way, companies, if any company, let's say, uh, is facing liquidity issue, they can apply for a revolver credit facility and they can access the amount. Recently, uh, this Etos group have applied for uh, you know credit facility and Epic Management something in you know, a private equity firm. They have insured around five uh, five hundred million or billion uh, or one or two billion something. I don't have the exact you know that number, but they have secured this revolver credit facility to them. So if something happened, they'll access it. And see, in a revolver credit, see why revolver credit is uh, famous. First, understand this. Let's say first year you have access it, third year, uh, second year you have access it and even repaid. Repayment, which is not mandate, means yearly. You can repay it at the time of you know expiry as well. All right. But let's say third year you don't want to access any credit. No credit required. So don't access it. So no one will charge interest payment to you. Because you have access, repaid, full or partial depends. Only interest will charge on outstanding amount. Here you will you will pay interest payment on only used amount, not entire amount. Correct? Not on this amount. So this is how basically you can. Uh, sorry, my word. Fifty lakhs. I wrote. It should five lakhs. Because total amount is you can draw down amount up to ten lakhs only, max to max. Right? You can max to max draw down amount of. 10 lakhs if you if you want excess amount on and above the 10 lakhs then you will have to again follow the due diligence convince to the bank and then bank will increase the limit otherwise bank will not increase your limit simple all right but yes here through this revolver credit facility if you need a fund of let's say only 10 percent 20 percent 1 lakh 2 lakhs so basically you can withdraw the amount as and when required. So it's a basically systematic, you know, uh, credit process. So if you, if you withdraw, let's say excess amount, then you will have to pay interest payment on excess amount. So basically it will lead to the increase in interest payment cost. So if, and see this, this revolver credit facility is becoming more fascinating in credit world. The reason is it gives more, you know, uh, opportunity to uh, save your interest cost so you can manage your credit card or you can manage your revolver credit facility in a very systematic way so this is how your revolver credit facility works all right so now let me talk about third facility which is delayed drawn Third facilities delayed. See, guys, draw it, drawn it means with the draw. With the draw, with the draw payment, with the draw facility. Delayed drawn it means with the draw that facility or cash payment. So if we talk about delayed drawn here, let's say same facility, the term you have received five years. All right, with 10 lakhs. Correct. See, you just wanted this credit facility, but utilization of credit facility, it's not decided. Correct. Let's say you got facility in 2020 and the expiry of this facility is 2025. So bank has approved that facility to you. But the access of this facility, which is not a decided when you will access that even you don't know it. So it's kind of an emergency fund. You just wanted emergency credit line from the bank. 
you applied it if you need you can access if you don't need then don't access it if you access then only bank will you know start charging interest payment and if you don't require it bank will not charge any penny as an interest payment but bank may charge unused if you don't used money then bank may charge commitment fees because bank already you know has done some sort of documentation and also they'll charge commitment fees and unused fees unused fees on this particular deal but interest payment they cannot charge it if you don't utilize funds what if sir uh, you know this year we have decided to utilize funds for one year 12 months duration and we have decided to utilize 5 lakhs and let's say interest payment is 10 percent then that's fine you can pay interest payment on this amount only send the later to the bank look we are now looking for a withdrawal of or drawdown of 5 lakhs from the facility we want to utilize it and you can apply bank will ensure arrangement of funding once you get a funding then withdraw and then utilize that funding and then again repay it so that's become your delayed drawn facility in a delayed drawn if you compare delayed drawn and revolver the difference is in revolver you can continuously you know withdraw uh, means draw down and repay draw down and repay that becomes your revolver credit facility and in delayed drawn you have approved means you have got the approval of facility but your usage of you know that facility which is not something yet decided so it's kind of an emergency facility if you need you can access it if you don't don't access it tell to the bank look now i don't want this facility please cancel it bank can also cancel from their side so this is how your you know delay drawn or term loan or revolver credit facilities works in loan syndicated market so let me just summarize it we have discussed about two different types of market one is lst another one is lma market lma is for uk lst is for us market both markets are different because the trade life cycle is different but rest remaining terms and all you may see you know same all right it's work like a stock market only here you know the participants means syndicated bodies create a pools and sell out loans in a tranches or through you know uh, small small agreements so that anyone can participate and buy the loans and earn interest payments and sell it out again buy and sell it out in open market which is secondary market basically and we have also discussed about what is loan syndication how loan syndication works then important documents like trade documents assignment agreement documents documents it means you can go and check it on the internet also you can download the format so it's simple format which uh, describe the total amount trade date settlement date payment i'll also i'll see in my uh, you know phone if i have any standard format and I'll share that format uh, with you as well. But yes, it's just a you know, loan agreement format. It's like your personal loan agreement format, right? In a personal loan process, what happened? We sign lots of documents, right? KYC documents and all other documents. So same way here also we uh, sign different documents and uh, uh, then again, we ensure the disbursement of funding. But here you might see different participants like loan agents or uh, arranger bank custodian you know loan agent then uh, fund managers so that you can directly deal with them and then funding will disperse out to the counterparts and here if you see the job opportunities would be like you know reconciliation analyst to bank data analyst or you know middle office analyst so as a middle office uh, middle office analyst your main job would be to signing documents and also you can sign documents you can review documents you can verify documents that would be your more you know uh, responsibilities in back office sorry middle office and in back office your main responsibility would be to book the trades means those trades delay drawn revolver credit or facilities you can book it in your accounting system you can directly book the trades settle the trades book it means guys it's a data entry because we record the trades in accounting system when we say settlement it means we update the status of security uh, update the status of facilities in the uh, system accounting system all right and then we again uh, uh, accounting that comes into picture reporting comes into picture tracking of interest payment come into picture communication of different banks that you will have to handle so you would see lots of responsibilities and all 
but if you ask me genuinely uh, you know how this market is growing so let me tell you something go and check the data as well this market is now uh, becoming you know more uh, more fascinating and even which is uh, you know rewarding for professionals who want to do career in bangbit the reason is this product means it's a direct this comes under guys direct credit basically this process or this market comes under direct credit mm. okay this market is the part of direct credit so have you heard about saukari term or creditor term in you know rural india so where in a saukari process 36% to 70% interest payment where you know that creditors charge to the farmers or peasants or you know different people right who seek for a credit facility from local creditors correct so because with the, you know that process you would see no involvement of a bank no involvement of any third person you can directly offer credit and take the control of assets of that particular person and that's what if you see same term that saukari term which is becoming more popular in this debt market so here directly you know participants they are offering credit to each other a is offering credit to b b is offering credit to c so they are directly buying and selling loan without intervention of a bank so in traditional method what happened so let's say this is your bank hdfc bank <laughs> with the bank what happened a will deposit money with in you know, hdfc at 5% interest payment and then hdfc will offer loan to let's say b at 10% interest payment and then hdfc will you know this will, this bank will earn profit of around 5% but in this direct credit you don't need any bank in picture here you don't require any bank you can directly offer credit to each other through agreement and proper process so that's what it become you know uh, it, it becomes more promising as i said so it means in india also you would see especially in real estate market uh, this private credit will again buzz if you are means really interested in all of this you know loans indication and all then you can refer clo books cdo books which is available in the market so that covers loans indication parts and you can enhance or upskill your knowledge to get a jobs but even you know whatever content that we have discussed this is also enough to get a job in loans indication market all right so yeah this was all about loans indication product so a few terms definitely that you would see so let me decode that one is uh, pay down pay down is nothing but it's just a repayment of principal amount all right then another term that you would see which is a drawdown drawdown it means excess the credit facility that becomes your draw down all right third term that you might see which is yeah facility facility is nothing but it's just a loan approved amount loan approved amount that becomes your facility facility also you can call it as commitment amount as well commitment commitment amount 
all right so these are the terms where you may definitely expect question around here do you know how pay down works here do you know how drawdown works drawdown it means just to withdraw the amount from the facility that becomes your drawdown facility it means which is loan facility basically that you have got the approval so that becomes a loan facility all right pay down it means repayment of principal amount back so that becomes your pay down so now uh, you can ask me questions with regards to the bonds equity or preference or even loan market so i would allow you guys to ask questions because i don't want to start new topic now so we have almost 24 minutes i'll unmute this and i'll hand over this session to you to ask questions as much as you can